Hickok 45 here, sitting over in the woods. It's a cold day. I think it must be because it's winter time. Anyway, Vlog 22, coming to you from you know where. Back in the woods at the compound. Thought we uh, haven't done a Vlog for a little while. And you know, we rolled over 50,000 subscribers. So we thought that warranted a little visit with you in person live rather than just on the radio. So anyway, good to see you again in uh, a non-shooting, well, might be a non-shooting video, but it's a vlog and uh, wanted to just cover a few topics, celebrate the 50,000 uh, subscribers, which is nice. Uh, I look at those as votes, basically, you know, subscribers kind of as votes. Hey, Ginger, come over here and see me, baby. Come on over and see me. Come here, Ginger. You don't want to participate. John's not going to pet you. Come here. Come here. He's on the camera. Come here. Come here. <laughs> uh, they're kind of like votes. Uh, people come to the channel and see a video they like. You're showing the world your rear end, Ginger. Yes, you are. The wrong end. It's not the cute end. But uh, we like the, uh, the fact that people keep coming in and deciding they want to know when we post videos. And really, that's kind of the, the measurement or the barometer that that is. And uh, the views are, of course, uh, uh, the main thing, and that's just climbing steadily and, uh, and intensely in a lot of ways. So uh, that means people like what they're seeing, and they keep coming back. So uh, that's good. We're just the, the, the really good thing about it is the fact that we're doing what we like to do and having fun doing it, and other people like that. You know, what more can you ask for? But we're real busy, real active, uh, lots of uh, mail, lots of messages, uh, lots of comments, lots of things to, to weed through every day. But I enjoy doing that too. It takes a lot of time, but I enjoy doing it. And uh, as I've said before, I feel like I'm trying to give back whatever knowledge I have uh, regarding the world of shooting and that kind of thing. So I don't know everything. As I've said many times, I know a few things, I've had some experience. What I do know is generally based on experience. And so I think that that's, uh, that's worth something. And I try not to act like an expert on things I don't know a lot about. And of course, in the world of firearms, there's so much out there that, that we can't know everything, can't have experience with every firearm, of course, or every tomahawk or knife or spear or uh, you name it. Uh, yeah, things are really busy at the channel, as you can tell. Uh, getting a lot of requests for things. Let me reiterate, and I mentioned this in my radio uh, show. I try not to duplicate really things I talk about in the radio uh, show just a little bit, you know, here and there maybe that's uh, really different things I talk about there than in the vlogs. But uh, one thing I mentioned in the most recent one is that uh, I do see your requests, all of them. And as I mentioned on my homepage, uh, I've got a list of reasons why you might not get an answer to a question. Hopefully you've read that. And that's strictly out of a survival, you know, because uh, I can't answer the hundreds I get every day. But I answer a lot of them. You folks know that, that send me messages. Uh, then I'm not making that up, right? But I do see the requests. I uh, take note of all of them. And I can't answer all those because I get a request every day for almost every gun that's manufactured. What I do is I begin to see patterns. And if there are guns that a lot more people are requesting than others and I start thinking about that and well not that I'm a gun reviewer as some folks are but still you know we like to do a lot of things and experiment with new guns and different guns guns that you all like uh, you guys are the reason that we're you know trying to keep this thing lively and uh, do a lot of things we do and so you know I start thinking about guns if I'm getting four and five and six requests every day to, uh, to look at a certain gun, people who know the channel, who know what I like, what I don't like, and they're, they're recommending certain guns. Uh, you know, I remember getting a lot of requests for the uh, Walther, uh, let's see, what is it, the PPS. Uh, people say they think I would like that gun because of what I like in a small gun. You know, for example, a lot of requests on that gun. And I've been looking at that. I don't know if I'll get one, but I might. Uh, you know, so it puts them on the radar when a lot of people are hammering me about a specific gun. Uh, hammering is not the right word. So that's kind of the way that goes. So I do take note of your requests. I had a had a fellow, uh, you may have seen the comment, got upset because, uh, oh, we did the silly basketball video, you know, and uh, I think I mentioned this in my radio show this week. <laughs> 
he was just put out uh, unbelievably that I had dared to do that silly basketball shooting video when he had been requesting some kind of cleaning video for uh, six months, I think, you know. So, you know, that's just going to happen. Sorry, guys. I've got to do what I like to do. And, uh, you know, that's that's just the way it is. If I'm in the mood to do something, I will do it probably. So it's the advantage of having my own show. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? Uh, oh, yeah, I want to remind you again, somebody uh, made a comment about the Mossberg video that I had been paid by Mossberg. I wish. <laughs> I get no money again. Uh, and maybe since, you know, we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and 50,000 subscribers now, I need to need to reiterate that, that I don't get any money from uh, really anybody. Uh, except, you know, YouTube as a partner get a little bit, but I get no money from any vendors, no guns or anything. I do get loaner guns from a couple of uh, companies. And as I pointed out before, that doesn't necessarily uh, translate into a lot of money, you know, uh, but because uh, I have to ship them in, ship them back and buy all the ammo to do the, the videos. Uh, so, you know, no matter how I get the gun, there's a lot of cost involved in that, as you know, especially the way I shoot. I love to shoot lots of bullets, don't I? So anyway, we're not making any money. If I, if I do, if, uh, if uh, Mossberg calls or Glock or uh, Smith & Wesson, so, hey man, we're going to start sending you a bunch of guns to do reviews with. Problem is, and we're going to pay you uh, $10,000 a month, and we want a video every three days with one of these guns if you'd like to do that. Hey, might be hard to turn down. That's not going to happen, of course, but I would let you know. You always know if there's any money involved. Uh, I, I do get a lot of things, well, not a lot, but uh, every now and then something sent to me. People message me and want to send me a holster or send me this, that, and that. And what I tell them is, yeah, send it. I don't know if I like it or not. If you want to send it, you can send it. But I, I don't do that kind of uh, video, generally speaking. And uh, if it's something I like, it'll probably show up. You know, that's for sure. If it's something I might use in a video or something that I just think is really cool. So anyway, just want to get all that covered. Uh, you'll always know uh, what's going on in that regard. Don't ever uh, interpret a compliment on a firearm or anything as something that I am uh, throwing out there just because uh, I got something free. Okay, so uh, what else? Uh, like I said, I've got to be in the mood to do stuff. The, the one thing I want to mention, the Top Shot's coming up again, I noticed, and I'm beginning to get more and more messages about that uh, everywhere, you know, postings and on the profile and, and private messages ask me why I, I have not applied or if I'm going to apply next season, all this sort of thing. And we have so many new people that uh, maybe missed an earlier vlog on that or back in the fall when I talked a little bit about it, and I can't say a lot, but uh, how shall I say it? They, I was complimented, you know, and flattered by the fact they contacted me back in the fall. And because of the YouTube thing and the public, the publicity or the, the public nature of what I'm doing, it just didn't look like something I could do uh, based on some of the agreements that I would have had to adhere to. Okay, that's all I want to say about that. Uh, also, hope you guys have seen the, uh, the Lego Hickok that uh, a viewer did. I've been featuring it for a few days because I thought it was so cool. John found it and... Uh, uh, the guy might have sent it to me as a, as a video response or something. I don't know. Uh, I wrote him and thanked him for it, told him I thought it was cool. But uh, I get so many video responses, that, you know, and we generally don't approve those because we're trying to cross our own videos around, and I get, you know, hundreds of those a day too. So I, it may have come and I just didn't see it. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like he put a lot of work in on that. And uh, so we want to give him a little more, a little more pub on that and featured a little while there because uh, I don't know how he did that. Uh, well, I kind of have an idea how he did it and it took uh, quite a bit of work, I would say. Uh, what else? Uh, be aware also that if we get a really nice day on a weekend, we might do three or four videos. And uh, that's not easy, but we might. And we may not post them all that day or that week. So you might see a video that has snow in it that was done a week earlier or two days earlier. Or maybe it's a video we did on a Tuesday. Uh, we posted it the next Sunday. It just, just depends. So in case you're wondering about that, I have some people a little perplexed that, wow, look at all the snow. Did you get snow yesterday? <laughs> so that's the reason for that. And uh, you might have figured that out. Uh, 
The one thing we won't do is post a video before we actually do the video, though. We'll make a promise on that, okay? Uh, what else? Oh, John wanted me to remind you, and uh, I'm not fully aware how that works myself, but then most of you might know this already, but if you're looking for a specific video and you want to search for that video, uh, you can, of course, go to the channel and probably find it, or you can just put in the main search window or bar for YouTube, whatever the subject is. If you're looking for a, a 1911 video that I did, or a zombie video that I did, or a basketball or archery video that I did, whatever it might be, you put that, that word in and then put a space and Hickok 45. And uh, you know, I think John used that search method pretty often. We're not being vigilant enough. I think I thought I heard something walking Sounded like a dead walk. Okay. Okay, John's supposed to be watching behind me, and I'm keeping uh, the back, you know, the ground up there uh, behind him uh, scoped out too, but something could come in from the side here. We haven't seen any zombies lately, but one never knows. But anyway, things are going really well, and... Uh, we really appreciate the support and, uh, of course, the growth of the, the channel is uh, still, you know, surprising to us. Uh, we're just, again, having fun doing what we do. Again, 50,000 uh, subscriber mark, we thought it was kind of a landmark for us and a, a place where we needed to do a, a vlog and uh, chat at you a little bit. We'll continue doing a lot of the stupid stuff we've been doing, some of the goofy stuff, uh, serious stuff, be doing some semi-gun reviews and uh, shooting things, trying to give you a, a realistic look at things, what they do, what they will do. If, uh, if they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. Uh, I'm sorry about the Smith & Wesson uh, mess ups and some of the uh, M&P videos that we did. And, you know, Smith & Wesson makes great guns and I've gotten a lot of messages from people with M&Ps that never have any trouble with them. And uh, since we had a little bit of an issue with both of those videos, we'll probably do another M&P video with that same uh, 40 mp 40 c because it's a good little shooter and uh, so we'll shoot that some more the Glock uh, 19 Gen 4 uh, I have to either send it back or buy it pretty soon uh, don't know if we'll do another video with it it might show up in another video it was in the basketball video that's what I was using while I was dribbling and shooting uh, but it seems to have uh, loosened up and seems to want to shoot anything we put in it now so that's good uh, I don't know, I seem to shoot it pretty well. I'm tempted to buy it. I don't know. The trigger seems to have a little bit of creep in it, but I don't notice it when I'm shooting. I notice that if I'm just sitting and pulling the trigger, it's kind of weird. You know, when you're checking a trigger for creep, it's not too hard to detect. Uh, so I detect a little bit. Unlike the other Gen 4s that I have or have reviewed, uh, they seem to have really crisp triggers. So it's got just a tad bit of creep. But when I shoot the thing, I don't know. I think I shoot it better than any of my other uh, Glock 19. So I don't know. Who knows? So anyway, uh, we'll be doing some more videos, different guns and knives. Still have a lot of knives that I use on the place a lot. Uh, so we'll show you some more of those and uh, just have fun, okay? And I know you want to see some gun fire. So should we get this big, beautiful gun dirty? You know, we could encounter a bear or a zombie on the way back. So maybe we'll just get a smaller gun dirty. I think that was a rattlesnake right there. Now I think I'm going to put another round through his head. Just joking. I think it's illegal to shoot a rattlesnake, believe it or not. What else do we want to shoot? There's a maple leaf. It needs shooting. Not bad. And I didn't get my big, big 44 Magnum dirty. And we still have ammo in case something comes up on the trip home. We're back in the woods pretty far here. So anyway, this is Hickok 45. Being a little bit goofy, I know, today. But I have an excuse. It's cold. We just passed 50,000 subscribers. Uh, I don't know, what's the other excuse? Oh, 
it's up here, isn't it? Uh, wish we could have a party, you know, we could have just invited all the subscribers and uh, all the viewers to the compound and hunt zombies together. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? And like I've said before, if we had a couple thousand acres out in the middle of nowhere, we would surely do that. <laughs> I mean it. So anyway, we appreciate your support and y'all come and see us. Life is good.